Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. Vani, and on behalf of Vedantu, I welcome you all to this amazingly cool, super duper fun, exciting new session on mind maps of botany. Before I begin today's class, just give me a couple of minutes. I really want to talk to you and tell you some amazing insights about who we are, why are we here, and what are we out there to do. Some of you must be our old students. Kuch log shayad hume pehle se jante honge. They must have tried Vedantu in their junior classes. They must have come and been a part of our phenomenal class 11th and 12th NEET and JE sessions. But some of you could be absolutely brand new to us, brand new to the system, brand new to sitting at home in your own room or in your, you know, in your study room or in your dining room or in your drawing room with your parents and trying to understand ki kya aise bhi padhai ho sakti hai so there is something that i want to tell each one of you see my dear students let me take this opportunity that vedantu has given me and tell you something phenomenal about our motive about our core about our philosophy see when we at vedantu sit as a team to hamare samne sirf ek aim rehta hai and that one aim because of which hundreds of people at vedantu work day in and day night is that koi bhi bachcha इस देश के किसी कोने में नहीं होना चाहिए जो पढ़ना चाहता है पर उसको क्वालिटी मटेरियल नहीं मिल रहा है देर शुड बी नो नीड फॉर एनी चाइल्ड टू कम आउट ऑफ द कंफर्ट ऑफ देयर होम्स टू लीव देयर पेरेंट्स बिहाइंड और टू फील डिसएडवांटेज बिकॉज दे आर नॉट इन द मेन सिटीज ऑफ द कंट्री सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट वी हैव ट्राइड टू कंबाइन द बेस्ट ऑफ टीचर दैट दिस कंट्री हैज टू ऑफर विद द बेस्ट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन द इंटायर वर्ल्ड एंड ट्राई टू प्रेजेंट इट इन द बेस्ट पॉसिबल वे फॉर यू You know, हमारी फिलोसफी क्या है वी वॉन्ट टू गिव यूर लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि कोई बच्चे के पास दुनिया के बेहतरीन टीचर्स हैं और दूसरा कोई बच्चा जिसके पास डेफिनेटली पोटेंशियल है बट बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ फंड बिकॉज ही इज इन जोग्राफिकली आइसोलेटेड एरिया बिकॉज वो वहां से मूव नहीं कर सकता या करना नहीं चाहता वो किसी डिसएडवांटेज में है वी आर गोइंग टू ब्रेक जोग्राफिकल बैरियर्स माई डियरेस्ट चिल्ड्रन इट इज माई रिक्वेस्ट टू यू Try us once. नहीं पसंद आएगा छोड़ दीजिएगा But yes, give us one opportunity. Don't sit with preconceived notions. This is possible. This is the future. And I want you to be the change makers of this wonderfully great country that we are all a part of. Yes. So together, let's embark on a beautiful journey today and see how teaching can truly be made fun. because we definitely are teachers by choice so telling you something about myself i have been in pre medical entrance coaching my dearest children for the past 10 years now having coached thousands of children across all over the country and even the world some of my students have made it to internationally acclaimed medical universities across the world aims delhi सो मेनी मेडिकल कॉलेजेस दैट मैं नाम लेना चाह रही थी सो आई डिड नॉट नो किस कॉलेज का नाम लू और किस कॉलेज का नाम ना लू हैव स्टूडेंट्स हु आई हैव सो वंडरफुली टॉट मेंटर्ड ओवर लॉन्ग पीरियड्स ऑफ टाइम सो येस नाउ इट कुड बी योर चांस टू स्टडी फ्रॉम द बेस्ट ऑफ टीचर्स इट वी हैव योर इट वेदांत सो कम लेट मी शो यूर ग्लिप्स में एक छोटा सा छोटा सा डेमो देती हूँ आपको आज दैट हाउ एग्जैक्टली लर्निंग कैन बी एक्सट्रीमली फन लर्निंग कैन बी सो क्रिस्प कंसाइज एंड इंफॉर्मेटिव एट द सेम टाइम चलिए लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑन अ जर्नी नाउ व्हाट आई वांट यू टू डू इज आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ यू वुड हैव स्टार्टेड बॉटनी इन क्लास इलेवन उसमें कुछ बहुत मुश्किल टॉपिक्स है आई कुड हैव मेड अजी स्लाइड ऑन प्लांट वॉटर रिलेशन ऑन प्लांट ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑन ग्रोथ एंड हॉर्मोन्स बट आई वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग विच इज टफ ताकि आपको पता चले किस लेवल की पढ़ाई हमारे यहाँ कराई जाती है सो माई डियर चिल्ड्रन इन बॉटनी आई हेव पिकड प्लांट टी यस सो वी गुड बी डूइंग biophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms angiosperms in today's class and how to memorize them 
we do not have to give a board exam now so there is no need for us to memorize big paragraphs there is no need for us to write down big answers we have to get a gist because we have to now focus on a mcq examination next year aapke sath is time pe aapke board exams chal rahe honge jinki taiyari hum throughout class 12 karenge and after that you will have only one month that is the month of april उसमें आपको पूरा इलेवंथ और ट्वेल्थ रिवाइज करना है क्योंकि क्लास ट्वेल्थ के एग्जाम्स के जस्ट बाद आपके पास सिर्फ एक महीना रहेगा और मई में आपके एग्जाम्स होंगे योर मेन एग्जाम सो वी विल हैव जस्ट अबाउट वन मंथ ऑफ अप्रैल टू completely crisply concisely do the entire 11th and 12th because in the month of may we will have an exam of neat so i have that is why i made special classes on mind maps in today's class and how to memorize quickly with the help of the beautiful images and maps that i have made come let's start i can't simply jump on to planty the lectures in vedant were always taken in continuation ki kaise ek cheez se dusri cheez pe streamlined tarike se bahut hi gradual tarike se jaya jaye is that clear so let's start with biodiversity every slide you will see i would have tried to cover at least 7 to 8 mcqs this is what you will see right now on this slide so attention paper and pen on your hand to write down whatever is important all the notes are made available to you right after the class come let's start so biodiversity means biological diversity this is the definition biodiversity is referred to the variations of life form in a given geographical area is that your that is biodiversity the biodiversity could be classified into three important types all three of them and their definitions are prospective mcq questions very very important so biodiversity is classified into genetic diversity which is nothing but the variations of genes dekhiye blood group hota hai a b a b o type ka to ye kis mein difference hai kisi mein gene hogi a blood group ki kisi mein b blood group ki kisi mein a b blood group ki kisi mein o so jo genes ka difference hai that is the genetic diversity difference of species if you compare the number of species in amazon rainforest aur hamare desh ke north मेघालय मणिपुर मिजोरम आसाम विजोविज राजस्थान और विजोविज सहारा डेजर्ट अगर आप कंपेयर करेंगे तो ऑब्वियसली रेन फॉरेस्ट विल हैव मच मोर स्पीशीज डाइवर्सिटी सो फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी इज द जेनेटिक डाइवर्सिटी the second type of diversity is the species diversity and the third type of diversity is the ecosystem diversity yes tundra bio hai ya nahi hai is that your alpine area hai estuarine area hai grasslands area there are all different types of ecosystem temperate tropical tundra alpine arctic there are all different types of ecosystems so variety of ecosystems ecosystem diversity different types of species in a given area species diversity different type of genes in a population refers to the genetic diversity biodiversity can even organisms which are part of the biodiversity we can even classify them so organisms we can classify we can put them according to a hierarchical status kaise kaise according to the levels we can put them in a hierarchical status yes my dear students it all starts with kingdom which could be further divided into phylum and division now this is a very important mcq question the word division is only related to plants is that clear yes we have phylum and division which could be further divided into class which could be further divided into order family genus and species is that clear now this is very important genus and species look at the arrow i am raising genus and species form a part of the binomial nomenclature which is mentioned in latin or greek Why is it mentioned like this? ताकि अगर मैं कोई word बोलू अगर मैं बोलू panthera tigris तो आपको समझ में आ जाए मैं किसकी बात कर रही हूं अगर मैं बोलू homo sapiens you should realize we're talking about humans, right? So that all scientists can understand that this was given by Carolus Linnaeus. Understood the five kingdom classification. Kingdoms are divided into five basic kingdoms. That's a five kingdom classification. It was given by R. H. Whittaker. M. C. Q question, MCQ question, all three are MCQ questions. What are the five kingdom classifications? Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. This is most important today's class. Is it clear? So you can see five kingdom classifications continued on the next. slide right there is also classification which is the older classification 
proposed by Woish in the year 1977. This is the three domain system. It was given by Woish, right? Whose is what? Whose is the easy word to remember? Whose Woish rat ratna mushkil hota hai? So, isliye maine yahan trick rakhi hai choti si. Whose is that clear? Whose Woish, right? Three domain system. Whose? Whose domain system? Three domain system like that. Hierarchical classification. Whose? So, say yahan rakhi ka word Woish. Now, three domain system kya hai, bachcho? Domain bacteria, domain archaea, domain eukarya. Bacteria or archaea hai prokaryotes. Eukaryotes means the ones which are true bacteria which have a nucleus. Archaea and bacteria which is monera. Dekhiye arrow ja raha hai. I'm going to erase everything so that you can pay attention. See. राइट एवरीबडी सी आई इरेज एवरीथिंग ताकि आप देख सकें ध्यान से बैक्टीरिया से रेड एरो मैंने मोनेरा डाला है सो मोनेर आप बैक्टीरिया एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन मोनेरा एंड आरके आरके मीन आर्कियोलॉजी ओल्डेस्ट बैक्टीरिया बिलोंग टू प्रो कैरियोथ राइट मूविंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्लाइड Right, so the five kingdom classification, as I told you, will be there in the next one: kingdom Monera, kingdom Protista, kingdom Fungus, kingdom Plantae, and kingdom Animalia. This will start from the next slide. This is what we have to do in today's class in detail. See, कि आधे पौने घंटे में मैं detail तो obviously नहीं करा सकती. Can I do the entire kingdom Plantae, which I'm going to do in ten days in detail? No, but I will give you a glimpse, a beautiful pictorial glimpse. कि भाई आपको ये क्या हो रहा है जो भी आपने पूरी इलेवन में पढ़ा है वो आपके सामने ऐसे स्लाइड शो में नजरों के सामने जाएगा सो दैट यू कैन रिमेम्बर इट आइए देखते हैं सो वी हैव द फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन किंगडम मोनेरा मोनेरा को हमने फिर दो ग्रुप्स में बांट दिया यू बैक्टीरिया और आरके बैक्टीरिया यू का मतलब होता है रियल ट्रू बैक्टीरिया आरके का मतलब होता है ओल्ड बैक्टीरिया इज दैट यर नाउ वाई हैव आई नॉट फुट एलगी प्लांटी इज बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू द लेटेस्ट क्लासिफिकेशन एलगी डज नॉट हैव अ रूट स्टेम लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सो दैट इज वाई आई हैव नॉट फुट इट इन प्लांटी सो प्रोटेस्टा हैज एलगी एज वेल एज प्रोटोजो Kingdom fungi has further three phylum: Zygomyta, Ascomyca, Ascus. Right, spore-bearing Ascus and Basidium, club-shaped, which I'm not going to discuss in detail because our key class is scope se bahar hai. But I will do all of them in detail in subsequent classes. This I will try and do at least in dino pe. Mera bahut focus rahega, bahut zada focus. Inka main revision karwa sakhu aapko. Angiosperms is the first topic of class 12 and i hope to see you there i will do it in a phenomenal way right so bryo teredo gymno and angel animalia aapko pata hai aapne detail mein kiya hoga i will try and do this also in subsequent webinars porifera celentrata platyhelminthes nematoda annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata and for data info ab dekhi i'm going to erase all that i have written so that you can pay attention on the lines that i have drawn you could see two types of lines that i have drawn one of them are the blue lines and the other as you can very clearly see are the red lines so is five kingdom classification ko main thoda sa aur explain karna cha rahi hu types of organisms ya unicellular ho sakte hain ya multicellular unicellular honge aapke monera is that clear multicellular ho gaye aapke protista dekhi red line ja rahi hai fungus aapki multicellular plantae multicellular aur animalia multicellular ab aa jaye ab levels of cell organization prokaryotes matlab jinke paas nucleus nahi hai so prokaryotes ho gaye aapke again monera eukaryotes kon kon ho gaye bachcho aapke kingdom protista kingdom fungi and kingdom plantae as well as kingdom animalia अब आ जाए मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन पे इज दैट क्लियर फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन को हमने किन हिस्सों में बांटा है टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म नंबर टू इज लेवल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के हिसाब से एंड नंबर थ्री इज मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन Saprophytic are those organisms like fungus which depend on dead decaying organisms. Photosynthetic are those like you know your algae and your bryoterodo gymno angio which do photosynthesis and holozoic organisms like you and me animals which eat complete food so these are the three ways of classification of five kingdom classification this also can come aapne five kingdom classification kitne hisso ke hisab se divide kiya it can be classified on the basis of how many types of classifications three 
we've done it let's now come to kingdom planty which in today's class i will discuss in four groups this i will not discuss it in detail because this i will do it in detail list in class 12 but this i have made i have material for this also jo main aapke sath share karungi but pehle teen to main aapko bahut detail mein aaj karwane wali hu so next 30 minutes let's sit on a amazing visual journey my dear children we have bryophytes we have pteridophytes we have gymnosperms and we have the amazing angiosperms would you see right here in front of you are various kinds of mosses which come under bryophyta it could be absolutely green grass like like this it could have structures popping out like this which i'm going to discuss in detail this is not a moss these are known as lichens which are associations between algae and mosses which and fungus which i'm going to do in the next class algae and fungus which is not a part of the moss which i'm going to do in some other class chali let's come to bryophytes so what are bryophytes they are mosses you can easily see that this is a moss yes this is a moss and this is a moss so bryophytes are mosses this can come as an mcq what are the simplest group of land plants the most simple group of land plants are mosses let's do it with a blue color they are very small they are only 1 to 2 cm in height extremely small thick but small is that clear like a grass on which we stamp and walk why are they very small to ensure that enough nutrients are absorbed they do not let me write this for you they don't have वैस्कुलर टिश्यूज वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई वैस्कुलर टिश्यूज माई डियर चिल्ड्रन वैस्कुलर टिश्यू से हमारा मतलब है इनके पास ना जायलम होता है वॉटर कंडक्शन के लिए ना इनके पास फ्लोएम होता है दे डोंट हैव एनी ऑफ दिस इज दैट क्लियर सो बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव जायलम एंड फ्लोएम माई डियर इज चिल्ड्रन दे फॉर वी कैन नॉट मेक देम वेरी बिग इज दैट क्लियर यू कैन नॉट मेक देम वेरी बिग दे फॉर दे वेरी स्मॉल बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव जायलम एंड फ्लोएम दे seedless plants they don't have flowers they don't have fruits they don't have seeds so how do they reproduce they reproduce by formation of spores is that clear inke paas roots bhi nahi hote they have very small they have moss ugriya they have really small root like structures they don't have a root like this no 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 they very small root like structure very tiny hair like structure which is known as rhizoids rhizo means root like structure they have no true roots instead they have rhizoids which are very tiny root like structures they have no true leaves nine ke paas patte hote hain they don't have true leaves yes what what do they have they have a structure which is growing like this right isko kya kehte hain hum exception a thallus they are broad and flat tissues hota hai thallus is very broad thallus thallus is like this this is a thallus see this entire thing is a thallus aap iske leaves dekh rahe hain ye dekhiye kitne patle hain very fine very thin aur choti 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 inke paas roots honge so they have thallus which can do photosynthesis na inke paas stem hai na inke paas leaves hai na inke paas roots hain they are not true plant they are the earliest land plants which have ever come on the land is that clear they show something which is very phenomenal which is called alternation of generation let me show you this in detail then i will come to the mind map are you all understanding yes let me show you alternation of generation see this first see this before i proceed on to alternation of generation dekhi yes so see the structure is the base i will tell you what is the base just be little patient and see the structure jo base ke upar ug raha hai ye spores banata hai kya banata hai spores ye iske andar se spores nikalte hain aise see and the spores fall in water so bachcho agar ye structure spore bana raha hai can i call it sporophyte yes sporophyte kiske upar ug raha hai it's growing on the base i call the base i'm writing it with red color so that you can see i call the base as the gametophyte who is green in color just look at this slide and tell me who is green in color can you see that the gametophyte is green in color yes Yes. So who will do photosynthesis? Gametophyte. Agar photosynthesis gametophyte karega, jo ki green in color hai. Don't you think that this will produce energy? Yes. 
तो अगर ये फोटोसिंथेसिस करेगा ये ग्रीन इन कलर है ये एनर्जी बनाएगा सो माई डियरेस्ट चिल्ड्रन दिस इज डोमिनेंट पार्ट एंड ये एनर्जी कहा से ले रहा है फ्रॉम वेयर विल दिस टेक एनर्जी ये एनर्जी लेगा गैमिटोफाइट से इज दैट क्लियर सो देर फॉर माई डियर चिल्ड्रन सी दैट्स अ डाउट Thing that just flashed on my screen was a doubt which was asked by a student. So that is how accessible Vedantu is for you. The teachers are always online. Flash your doubts online and get them instantly solved. So come, let's come back to the class, my dear children. So the gametophyte is dominant. The gametophyte does photosynthesis. The gametophyte is the one which is producing energy, and the sporophyte, the spore banana raha hai. The sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte. Right, let me show it to you. Yeah, look, beautiful. I am moving away from the mind maps to explain in detail. Also, look, this is porophyte. This is twin. This is your lower part. This is what I showed you. I showed you green color. Ka hai tha. The green base, which I showed you, my dear children, was the gametophyte. It is. It was the gametophyte. It is N. Correct. It does photosynthesis. It makes energy. Therefore, it is the dominant part. I've written short forms. It does photosynthesis. Energy banana. It's the dominant part. The sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte. You have a male and a female different, you know, plant. So male and female they produce spores. So the spores. You see how the spores see the bursting. You see the spores are getting released. This one releases the spores. Its different names are. This is called the seta and things like that, which are beyond the scope of a 35-40 minute lecture. I will explain all of this in detail to you. I'm just giving you a gist of the entire chapter. Done. So the spores they land on water. The spores they germinate. The first structure which the spore forms once it germinates. Extra information, very important from aims and need point of view, is the protonema. The protonema grows and forms a thallus. So the protonema grows like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and forms a green part which is called the thallus. Spore germinate. Okay, protonema, protonema se thallus. The male and female thallus. Again, the sperms are produced. The male female fertilize. Right, the zygote is formed. And the zygote undergoes meiosis, and the spores are released. So now, what you have to remember is that the n forms n plus n combined to form two n. Two n undergoes meiosis, and again forms a type of n. So there is a very specific alternation of generation. You have a male gametophyte, anther. Say word, yaad rakhega antheridia. You have a female gametophyte, which always looks like this, an umbrella-shaped female gametophyte. Is that clear? That is called the archegonia. So male and female gametophyte. Now around the spores, you always have a sterile jacket. Sterile means it is not fertile. That means it does not have a male-female sexual structure. It is not fertile. It. What is the function of a jacket around the male-female structures to prevent it from drying, which is called as desiccation? So this is the female gamete. What are these? Come on, guess. What could this be? These are yes, the rhizoids. Is that clear? What is this? Is the thallus, right? And this, I'm just going to show you and tell you what this is. So they produce spores. The spores are always haploid. They are covered by capsule. They are non-vascular plants. That means they don't have xylem and phloem. There is no specialized vascular tissues. So for the male to reach the female and for it to cause fertilization, we require water. Is that clear? Moving ahead, my dear children. This is. Known as liverwort type or specialized mosses because they have compartments like the liver. See the lobes are there, like lobes of the liver. This is called the gamma cup. What is this called? Gamma cup. Gamma is a structure of doing asexual reproduction. Extremely important. It's a structure to do asexual reproduction. This looks like horn. So it is anthocerous. Horn warts, and this is the classification. So you have hepatophyta, which are the liver warts, shown to you in the first photograph with the gamma cup, shown to you in a brilliant diagram. Example is Marchantia, important from MCQ, MCQ alternation of generation MCQ. Anthocerophyta, horn wart, anthocerous. The horns which are coming on top, on top are the sporophytes. If they ever mark it and give it to you, then phylum Bryophyta, which are the mosses. I told you, if this is the 
कैप्सूल इन विच स्पोर्स आर देयर वॉट इज दिस कॉल्ड मैंने अभी आपको बताया था दिस विल बी कॉल्ड द सेटा वट इज द ग्रीन पार्ट आई टोल्ड यू दैट द गैमिटोफाइट वट आर द रूट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दे आर कॉल द राइजो is that clear bryophyta bosses classical example of bryophyta are polytrichum moving ahead what is this amazingly cool photograph that you are seeing this amazing photograph is of a let me write it with a red pen yes it's a fern can you see how it is coiled can you see how the coiling is there in all new leaves can somebody tell me what is this coiling called yes yes let's write that with a blue pen so this is called a circinate right it's coiled like a snake it's called circinate and this young leaf with coiling this young leaf with coiling is called a frond what is it called it's called a frond 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 done moving ahead my dear children so pteridophytes are nothing but ferns you will never see any flower flowering plants are pure angel sperm so they obviously again will be non flowering plants no flowers no fruits no seeds they are medium in size they don't produce seeds i just told you no flowers no fruits no seeds gymnosperms will have naked seeds they will not have fruits around the seeds angel sperms will have covered seeds but pteridophytes will not have seeds if they won't have seeds what will they have they will have spores let me first show spores to you one second let me first show see this they have spores what is this called on the back side of the leaf are the spores so this is the fern the fern okay look here carefully uh, can you see Can you see the spores here? See very carefully. If you look at it magnified, you will still be able to see spores here as well. So they have spores. Now this is very important. आप लोगों ने ये किया भी होगा. I don't know whether you did understand it that time or not. जब आपने कभी पहले अपने आप ने किया था, ये किसी ने आपको कराया था. The spores are of two types. Homo means same. Hetero means different. So if both the spores are of the same type, we call them homosporous. If the spores are of different types, we call them heterosporous. Plants with two types of spores. The larger ones always remember the female always is meant to nourish the zygote. Is it not? Yes. Ya to wo yolk se nourish kare, ya wo placenta se nourish kare. But the female is always there to nourish the zygote. Therefore, the female always contains food for the zygote remember this she always has food for the zygote because she has food for the zygote the size is big the size of the female is big so such big sized female my dear children is called as megaspores develop into the female gametophyte produces the egg the small ones micro means small microscope to see small things micro means small so the small one is always the male because there is no nourishment which is available so it could be it could be very small right there's no nourishment it could be it's small let me write this as well it's small plus it is mobile why is it mobile because it is light is that clear why is this not mobile why is this not mobile because this is heavy understood produces spores homosporous to yahan do tarah ke spores ban gaye micro and mega upar dekhte hain let's do it with a green pen homosporous mein kya hota hai they produce only one type of spore is that clear bisexual spore ek hi tarah ka banega gametophyte do tarah ke ban sakte hain which can produce eggs and sperm homo hetero now this is very important they have root so they are the first ones to develop roots pichle mein humne kya padha tha we had red rhizoids here what do we have we have roots inke paas patte hain wo to aap abhi dekh chuke hain they do photosynthesis leaves are also this definition is very important aapne ye words padhe honge par kabhi kisi ne shayad samjhaye hi na ho so leaves are also of two types ek hota hai कि आपका जो स्टेम है उसके कंपैरिजन में पत्ता बड़ा बड़ा है देर इज अ बिग लीफ वेन द लीफ इज बिगर देन द स्टेम इट्स कॉल्ड एज मेगा फाइलर्स लुक एट दिस डायग्राम कैन यू सी द स्टेम कैन यू सी द स्टेम नाउ एल मार्क इट्स अ थिक नाइस स्टेम बट लुक इन द लीव इट्स हाईली मैग्निफाइड थिन thin needle like leaves. See, see the stem inside. I'll write it. This is also branching stem. Thin leaves. These leaves are referred to as 
micro Pilus. This plant that you see on top, can you see it? Do do karke branching ho raha hai. This word will come. It's a very important word. Dhyan se suniye pehle. See, see, two branches. See, two branches. Everywhere it is branching twice. See again. See everywhere it will just branch twice. I will raise its seed. You see, I also went to Kota to study. वो कहानी मैं कभी आपको आराम से बताऊंगी कि Kota में क्या हुआ और क्या नहीं हुआ. Yes, it's not a very pleasant story, but चलिए मैं आपको कभी और सुनाऊंगी बट इन कोटा है वेरी ब्यूटिफुल मेमरी ऑफ दैट प्लेस एक्चुअली वहां ना मेला लगता था और उस मेले में जिंदगी में पहली बार आई थी सिलेजिनेला और रिस्ट्रक्शन प्लांट और मैं अपने हॉस्टल में लेकर आई थी सिलेजिनेला को येस हॉस्टल तो अच्छा नहीं था पढ़ाई भी बहुत मुश्किल से हुई बट सिलेजिनेला देख के मैं बहुत खुशी हूँ तब से मुझे याद है दिस इज सिलेजिनेला ऑल्सो नोन एज रिसन plant because if it becomes pure dry also it becomes green again when you put it in water right so microphylus is stem mota and patte bahut chote that is microphylus they have two stems they show alternation of generation n to n who is the dominant one here sporophyte pichle mein dominant kaun tha gametophyte is that clear the vascular plants they have xylem and phloem this is another very important concept let me mark it with a black pen for you guys inke paas xylem hota hai inke paas phloem hota hai so ye vascular hai right they are vascular but they also have lignin for support See, it's written here i will highlight it so phloem is for transport of organic substances glucose and starch water and minerals jinko hum together sap kehte hain uske liye xylem hai they do require water for fertilization of spores these are all microphylas that is selaginella known as resurrection plant now my dear children you should know jitne bhi vascular plants hai jo vascular plants shuru hue the first vascular plants aapne word suna hoga aapke teachers ne shayad aapko ye word bataya hoga club mosses right lycopsida lycophyta shayad aapne ye ek bhi word suna hoga equisetum So we have lycophyta and we have terophyta. Terophyta are ferns. Ye mosses nahi hai. It's a misnomer. They're not really mosses. They are vascular plants. They are the most primitive. They are the oldest and the most primitive vascular plants known as phylum lycophyta. Upright stem ho sakta hai. Sida khada hua. Upright stem like this. They can also have a ground hugging stem. They are branching roots. देखिए मैंने आपको यहाँ पे भी सिलेजिनेला का दिखाया था इनकी इनकी रूट्स और इनकी स्टेम दोनों डायकोटोमस ब्रांचिंग होती है दो 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 करके ब्रांचिंग होती है दे कैन ऑल्सो ग्रो ऑन टॉप ऑफ अदर प्लांट्स राइट लाइक ऑर्किड्स ऑर्किड्स की तरह लाइक ऑर्किड्स नॉट ऑर्किड्स लाइक ऑर्किड्स ये दूसरे प्लांट के ऊपर उग सकते हैं सो दे आर एपीफाइस राइट दे कैन ग्रो ऑन ट्रॉपिकल ट्रीज इनके पत्ते मॉडिफाइड होते हैं इनके जो स्पोर्स हैं सी दिस इज कॉल्ड अ सोरस इन In, I mean singular, so I plural. So the spores are there on the behind of the leaf in a cluster. The spores, जो पत्ते हैं वो sporophyll कहलाएंगे. जिन पत्तों पे spore लगाए वो पत्ते sporophyll कहलाएंगे. और spores का bundle होगा which is called as sorus. Lycopodium and Selaginella are examples. This is a AIMS MCQ extremely important. Homo sporus is एक जैसे स्पोर बनाने वाला Lycopodium. Resurrection plant मैंने अभी बताया लिख लीजिए Resurrection plant RPS. Resurrection plant is Selaginella. Let's come to Terophyta ferns. The leaves are called fronds. I have just explained to you Circinate fronds. मैं अभी आपको बताती हूँ पिन्ने और pinions. ये diagram देखिए amazing diagram. Ferns ऐसे दिखती हैं. The entire fern leaf is called a blade. It's a very important MCQ question. The leaf of the fern is called a blade. The fern is often called in the form of a frond this is called the pinna the leaf individual pinna members are called as pinnules so pinne pinnules right when it spreads jab spore land karta hai and when it spreads it's called the gametophyte stage so they have antheridia which is the male part they have archegonia which is the female plant an example of terophyta jahan pe teres aa gaya na beta you have to be 90% sure the teres is usually referring to ferns so dryopteris is the most common 
spawn that finishes spawn and let's now finally move down to something which produces cones which was present from the time of dinosaurs this thing which produces cones which present in the carboniferous area jo aaj ke coal deposit hai are nothing but gymnosperms is that clear gymnosperms so let's do this is pinus ye pine ka tree hai chinar deodar this is a pinus tree this is cycas also referred to as cycadaceae family is that clear so let's look at cycas cycadaceae family in detail done everybody is that clear yes moving ahead yes gymnosperms gymnosperms are also called as conifers because they produce cones chinar deodar they produce cones cones are the structures which do sexual reproduction i will show you a brilliant diagram just now to show how cones have seeds in them they do not produce flowers therefore they do not have fruits and therefore the seeds are naked they are not covered on the outside by any yes fruits therefore no animal will come to eat it therefore gymnosperms ki jo pollination hoti hai generally wo kisse hoti hai wind pollinated hote this is a very important mcq question all right gymnosperms are very large in size in fact the largest tree by the name of sequoia semi perviens the giant redwood tree agar aapne coastal california ki kabhi advertisements dekhi hai koi old english songs sunne hai so you know there this big trees jinke beech mein tunnel karke the car is going right brian adam kind of songs that is nothing but gymnosperms are very very large in size they produce naked seeds maine abhi abhi aapko bataya right seeds jo hai wo cone ke patte sporophylls are कोन लीव्स कोन के पत्ते अगर आप कभी शिमला गए हैं यू गॉट दार्जिलिंग यू सीन द कोन कोन लीव्स द ब्राउन कोन लीव्स आर कॉल्ड स्पोरोफिल्स और ओवरी राइट स्पोरोफिल्स आर मॉडिफाइड लीव्स कोन्स को हम स्ट्रोबिलाई भी कहते हैं सो ये लीव्स जुड़ जुड़ के क्या बन रहे हैं व्हाट शेप इज दिस लीव ब्राउन लीव्स टेकिंग द ब्राउन लीव्स फॉर्म कोन्स और स्ट्रोबिलाई एंड देर ऑल अरेन्ज्ड इन अ स्पाइरल now let's see the spores in detail right they are heterosporous that means there are different types of spores different types of spores heterosporous the small spores are called microspores you know them they are small obviously they will be male they will not be more they will not have food and therefore they will be motile the larger thick ones with stored food is mega so mega is big my dear children obviously micro will be small right so microspores produce microsporocytes which have microsporangia which produce the pollen grain which is nothing but the pollen i have another photograph for it i will just show you the mega is the ovule undergoes meiosis forms a megasporocyte megasporangium yes or cone cone of the female is that clear female gametophyte iske andar hota hai sporangia इसके पास क्या होता है द आर्किगोनियम यहाँ पे ऊपर एंथरीडिया होगा मेल में तो नीचे क्या होगा आर्किगोनियम और द फीमेल सो सी ये क्या बना रहा है पोलन ग्रेन पोलन ग्रेन जो है वो पोलन ट्यूब बनाएगा जिसकी वजह से वो एग पे मिलने आएगा एंड टुगेदर दे विल फॉर्म दोट और द एम्ब्रियो विच इज कॉल्ड द स्पोरोफाइट लुक एट दिस फर्स्ट ब्यूटिफुल फोटोग्राफ दिस इज एन एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन द स्ट्रोबलस इज द कोन एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन द लीव द ब्राउन लीव सी दीज इंडिविजुअल ब्राउन लीव आपने कौन देखा But these individual brown leaves are called the sporophyll. The sporophyll contains sporangium or sporus, which are nothing but the spores which get converted into the seeds on the sporophyll. See this? See this mature female pine cone, right? Because you see why mature. Look at this. Look at this again. I will explain this in detail. See, I'm erasing everything. Where is the pollen grain coming? See this? Where are they coming? They're coming to the egg, and tomorrow together they're forming the. zygote or the sporophyte onto the female see ovule patte pe banega the woody leaves are called sporophyll is that clear so see you have the place from where the pollen tube can enter the micropyle the covering is called integument and the pollen tube will enter and is brown patte pe kya banega what will be formed here will be the seed is that clear ovulate cone is different pollen cone is different can you see them they are different in shape size structure look at this photograph can you see that everybody what have i written here see is that clear everybody understood yes so this is part of gymno 
sperms gymnosperms show alternation of generation sporophytic generation is dominant is that clear gametophytic generation is dependent on the spore dekho beta ek main aapko bahut easy tarika batati hu yaad rakhne ka the higher the plant gymnosperms angiosperms higher plant sporophyte is dominant to and hame jo dikhai deta hai the stem the bark the leaf the flower the fruit the cone whatever we see is sporophyte the lower the plant algae moss right let's consider for one minute algae also kingdom plant tea so the lower the green colored chlorophyllous structure let's put it like this it's not plant tea jitna kam lower hai green colored chlorophyllous structure utna zyada dominant structure will be gamete ये वैस्कुलर होते हैं दे आर वैस्कुलर प्लांट्स इनका डोमिनेंट ये एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन है ये अल्टरनेशन ऑफ जनरेशन दिखाते हैं ये वैस्कुलर है इनके पास जाइलम है और इनके पास फ्लोएम है नाउ ह्योर आई वॉन्ट मेक अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इनके पास ट्रेकेज है इनके पास जाइलम वेसल नहीं है तो जाइलम वेसल किसके पास होगा नो पॉइंट फॉर गेसिंग एनजीओ के पास सिंपल फ्लोएम के पास सीव ट्यूब्स है कंपेनियन सेल नहीं है कंपेनियन सेल किसके पास होगा एनजीओ के पास इज दैट क्लियर राइट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अगेन इनको मैंने आपको पहले ही बोला था फर्टिलाइजेशन के लिए क्या चाहिए होता है गिवन यू अंट एनिमोफिली एयर नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन वॉटर दे हैव फोर फाइल दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट साइकस जिसकी मैंने आपको फर्स्ट फोटो दिखाई थी साइकोडोफाइटा उसके साथ मैंने आपको पाइनस की फोटो दिखाई थी कॉनिफोरोफाइटा गिंको बिलोबा के लीव्स के ऊपर बहुत क्वेश्चन आते हैं इसके लीव्स का एक पर्टिकुलर शेप होता है एंड ग्नेटेल्स जिसमें ग्नेटम या एफिड्रा भी आता है एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन एफिड्रा इज जीरो डेजर्ट में पाया जाता है Look at this amazing photograph. Conifer, just me. Sequoia, semi-perviance, giant redwood tree. Bhi aayega, pine aayega, deodar aayega, chinar aayega. Cycadaceae, I showed you in the first class. Ginkgo biloba. Look at this amazing shape. Ye as such, I, those of you who know me, those of you who've taken classes from me, we've done MCQs on this. Exact this shape has come. Ginkgo biloba is a very important additive in a lot of health supplements. It's a great neuronal stimulant, boosts memory. retention attention clarity of thought gnetales gnetales can you look at this see the leaf is like a spine is that clear they are zero phytic they can live in very very less water done let's come to angiosperms angiosperms basically is what we are going to read in detail in class 12 right it's basically part of class 12 i will teach you this in amazing detail but let let me just at the end of the lecture try and tell you how we're going to begin to do it in class 12 so they're flowering plants we know this they produce flowers they're much larger in size look at ficus bengal hennesses huge trees we have they have protected seeds by fruits duniya mein sabse diverse conic angels comes why because they have plenty of food for the zygote so the zygote never dies what is the food for the zygote my dearest children endosperm they are geographically widespread they are found in variety of habitats they could be herbaceous they could be woody they are pollinated not by water or wind but a variety of agents anemophily is wind pollination entomophily is insect pollination hydrophily is water pollination chiraptrophily is bats yes malacophily snails ornithophily yes birds they are heterospores again they have microspores this is what is basically class 12 very 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 important for neat point of view what is the embryo sac what are the antipodal cells what are the polar nuclei what are the synergids what is the mega microspores what produces the ovary what produces the anther in detail obviously they have to be vascular yes ab yaha dekhiye they will have tracheids they will have vessels they will have also fibers sieve tubes bhi hoga companion cell bhi hoga dominant kono ko sporophyte maine aapko pehle bataya jitna lower yes gametophyte is dominant jitna higher sporophyte is dominant they have dicotyledony monocotyledony is that clear magnifera indica is dicotyledony monocotyledony is zemes yes so that brings us to an end of an amazing session my dear students i really hope wish and pray that you give vedantu one chance it can be life changing i am not speaking on behalf of vedantu i don't want it to be a advertisement for vedantu try us give us a chance we are a bunch of highly committed extremely 
professional and very passionate people out there to make a difference yes give us one chance and i'm 100% sure you will not be let down you will enjoy vedant like anything it will become an important part and parcel of your life just think beyond a brick and mortar coaching think of something which is phenomenally different which can make a big impact in your life mera sach mein aapse tahe dil se anurodh hai lekin main hindi yes anurodh hai ki aap ek baar vedanto ko try to kijiye agar acha nahi lagega give us a very bad feedback and go but try us once give us an opportunity to serve you give us an opportunity to be a part of your life together let's make this country super duper cool yes chaliye on behalf of vedantu i'm dr vani again signing off for today i hope you enjoyed the lecture please leave leave behind a comment let me know how you felt about the lecture bye bye my dear students have a good day